Hey guys, Oblivion4777 here, coming at you with a deck profile on my Nordic Beast deck. Now, this deck has been working wonders for me. Um, I really, really like it just because um, I just saw the, Aven the Avengers and, you know, Thor was just kick-ass, dude. He was. So, you know, why not make a deck profile on the Nordics? And I really like how this deck came out. Um, it's I usually get either Odin or Thor, maybe first or second turn. And not that many people could deal with that because Nordic dodges back row and Thor dodges effects. So it's pretty good and you could get them back at least once. And it's not that hard to make them again if you lose them. So without further ado, let's get to the deck profile. I run one Black Luster Soldier. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, this is a Chaos Nordic Beast deck because I think that's, well, my opinion, I think that's the best way to run it. So yeah, I run one Black Lesser Soldier, one Raikou the Light Sworn Hunter, three Super, Mang uh, Super Nimble Mag uh, Hamster, <laughs> I'm sorry about that you guys, and the Standard Tuner, um, three Gold Facts of Nordic Beast, the three Tango Store of the Nordic Beast, and three Tang Tangnisner of the Nordic Beast. And I run two Vanitas of the Nordic Ascendant. The, I only run two because he's super easy. Ah, he's super easy to search out first turn. I go Super Mega Nimble Hamster. They attack into it, flip them or destroy them, whichever one. I go for Tango Store, put them to a, a attack position, and get Vanitas and go for first turn Od Odin. If I already have one of these guys in my hand. And I run the one tech Valkyrie of the Nord Nordic Ascendant. Why do I only run one? That's because I could search her out with Sangin. And the thing is, I usually do have back row uh, or monsters on the field, and she just ends up becoming a dead draw. Because I'm not going to waste, you know, my whole entire field just to get an Odin out. So, you know, and I run the one Sangin because the Sangin searches almost everything that, like, the most important pieces of the deck, which are the tuner, um, these guys, and um, Bonitas, and Valkyrie first turn. And I run two tour guide from the Underworld. Just, um, you know, she's, she's good there. <laughs> and I run one Book of Moon, one Dark Hole, one Heavy Storm, and one Monster Reborn, and an Avarice for the staples. Um, you want to run Avarice in this because you do go through your monsters a lot. Um, you know, Synchro Material, you usually Synchro at least three monsters. So, um, Pot of Avarice here is working very well for me. And two Duality just for the for the consistency and I'm I'm taking in two forbidden lances I was running two MST but I think two lances is more important because um, Odin and stuff like that they're prone to bottomless torrential etc etc so I think forbidden lance is um pretty good um, I also run three Glyphner the fetters of fin you know Fenner their their searcher card <laughs> so yeah this card's amazing it's it, it okay it baits out MST and it baits out so much stuff. So this this trap card is really one of my favorite because it searches out the cards that you need. You know, first turn you could set this, and if you have two, you know, two tuners at hand, uh, I'm sorry, two Nordic beasts at hand, you could go for Valkyrie, uh, normal summon Valkyrie, and you know. And the only reason why I don't run two Valkyrie is because she's bait to, you know, fight Baylor and stuff like that. So yeah, I run three Gly Glyphnir. Two bottomless. Um, you could switch yourself to compulse, but I prefer bottomless because I could get over a lot of X Y Z monsters. Um, Zen mains is really not a big deal for me because if anything, I could go for Thor and negate its effects. And uh, two call of the haunted to make synchroing a lot easier for me. Two warning, the judgment, and a mirror force. So that's about it. Like I said, two side placeholders for me is basically two MST. Uh, for the extra deck, I run one Catastir, one Gaia Knight. One Ancient Sacred Wyvern, one Black Rose, one Scrap Dragon, one the Stardust Dragon, three Odin, the Father of the Aesir, and two Thor, Lord of the Aesir. Um, my favorite synchro really is Thor because he negates everything on the field. Yeah, he doesn't dodge uh, the prison, mirror force, etc., etc. But like I said, if they are going to go for a mirror force or torrential, you can get him back next turn, and he's 3,500. And Odin's 4,000. Like I said, not that many things could get over that. Um, Malefic Cyber End just bumps head with Odin. And you can get Odin back. So, yeah. I run one wind up Zen mains. Um, you know, just in case I have three of the... Three of... Two of these guys out there. And, you know, I just want to stall. One Photon Pep. Uh, Maestro the Symphony Digin. Because he's kind of like a staple in the extra decks. 
and one number 39 Utopia for, you know, beat sick and stall. So yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed my deck profile. This is my Nordic Beast deck. I will be having more duels with it um, later on in the day because I want you guys to see the deck. But I just wanted, I wanted to get the deck out there for you guys so you guys could already know what I'm playing. If I make any significant changes to it, be sure that I will be updating the deck. Because like I said, you know, they're gods. Like, they're amazing. So hopefully you guys enjoy the deck profile. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And this has been Oblivion. Catch you guys later.